All right, y'all, you already know. So LeBron James had been under media scrutiny lately, and not necessarily for his gameplay, but for, you know, other things, mainly from what I can tell, his son, LeBron James Jr., a.k.a. Bronny James. Well, LeBron had put on Twitter or X, now formerly known as Twitter, that he will be stepping away from social media. Kevin Durant's longtime manager, Rich Kleiman, posted on uh, X, we can all acknowledge that sports is the last part of society that universally brings people together. So why can't the coverage do the same? It's only clickbait when you say it. When a platform is so big, you can make the change and allow us all an escape from real life negativity. I, for one, find it all a waste of breath so lebron pretty much we he retweeted that and he also had to put a caption that said quote and with that said i'll holla at y'all getting off social media for the time being y'all take care then he posted like a a deuces and a, a crown emoji so let, let, let me say this first uh social media which i think is entertainment most 99 percent of the time i think most people shouldn't take it serious but because a lot of people especially the gen z generation and a bunch of us millennials as well kind of somewhat grew up with social media well gen z had it literally all their life but for me at least since was 18 ish um if you let it consume you it can and i know people just like y'all who repost videos or pictures or constantly only show certain things to get the likes and all of that and we all know that likes ain't love and it ain't reality so i don't have a problem with people taking a break from social media because we, we shouldn't let it consume us but i think the, a lot of the neg negativity lebron is coming because a lot of people have been making videos and this is how a lot of the independent media uh, fans or you know or, or uh, all of us subscribers to different channels this is how we really feeling you know stephen a smith he handles brownie with kid gloves i just seen watch well, made a video about brian windhorse going in on on uh on the whole brownie situation but you know a lot of us this is why I like about independent media as well. We don't have to be constrained by, you know, the corporate boss's opinions. We can just we can keep it real and authentic. And a lot of us been keeping it real and authentic. And LeBron is saying, well, this is too much. But LeBron, what you got to understand is I, I did see you wear a shirt that said I am the pressure, as y'all can see. Uh, or I guess in my last video, I put in the thumbnail. I'm the pressure. So you put that. But then you go on social media and it's like. You know, and I've and I've said this in even my videos, even like with Shador Sanders and all of that. When we praising you, it's all good, but when we critique you, now we haters and now we're against you. And it shouldn't have to be like that, LeBron. You make hundreds of millions of dollars, right? You the one of the most famous people on the planet. People are going to critique you, man. If a million people say, you know, criticize your your thought process, but the, everybody else doesn't say it, what why why are we bothering you so much? You know? And again, I've said it. Nobody says Bronny is a bad person. People are just talking about Bronny on the court. That's it, man. That's it. You know, and even when I make videos, oh, man, he's a 55th overall pick. OK, but then when you promote him like he's a lottery pick, I have the right to critique him. Even if he wasn't, we're paying for this. I'm a paying customer. I pay for league pass. So I should be able to give critiques and YouTube TV and all these other things that I have to come out of my pocket for so i gotta pay you but then i can't critique you and again i'm just giving my opinion man y'all ain't gotta they don't have to listen to me who am i it's just, it's funny that a lot a lot of people man they can't handle it man they can't handle when a, when a, when, a, when the pressure gets tough a lot of people run for the hills and honestly a lot of, a lot of celebrities do you know or you'll see them make burner accounts or just start attacking you because you criti you, you you criticize them but they so used to you know they can almost do anything and get a half a million likes depending on who they are and lebron man well, <laughs> dude didn't you tell people that Bronny was better than half the people that you seen on, on league pass or he's better than so many players on league pass i'm playing my last year is going to be with my son i'm playing with my son okay well then you should have knew that this was going to come with it and if you had no idea didn't you follow LeVar Ball when LeVar Ball was at UC well, well, Lonzo Ball was at UCLA and LeVar said that he's already better than Steph Curry? You know how much pressure that put on him? So you re uh, tweeting and stuff, come on now. And and now people are mad because you're like, okay, well, you said all this. Well, well now what's up? And if Bronny didn't have half the coverage, I don't think people would care. But you got Bleach Report and all these other sites and salute to them. I get it. They got to make their money too. Where they'll, they'll do a, a steal or a fast break or a block 
but they don't put no other highlights up and you don't see them do it for no other players so it's like okay well if that's all you you do and you have five turnovers and four points then i have a right to talk about it people have a right to to speak their mind about it you know and again if you just want to take a break take a break cool but don't do all of that and then but then when you give him praise i don't see you taking breaks you know i don't see you saying well i need to step away from that and you know that's just what happens when you get all this adulation but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it honestly man am i tripping do y'all have a problem with it or or do y'all do do think lebron is, is running away because of the cr criticism of Bronny? let me know what y'all think